I'd go home from work. I'd get home in the evening from work, get her up, and about after dinner, we'd talk for a while, and we watched the news and Jeopardy. She never missed Jeopardy if she could possibly help it. And I was off to my meetings in the evening. A week after Kendra's wedding, her left leg was amputated. She had uh, had a progressive illness that uh, was not healable. Diabetes is a cruel disease. She was again bedridden, both with vision and neuropathy problems. So one day she falls next to the bed and her good leg folds underneath her and it snaps like a fulcrum or like a twig. 30 more days in the hospital and she never walks again. But she can get around pretty good in her wheelchair. It's a three-wheeler power chair. My dad and I patched the holes in the walls after we moved from there. In January of 93, I get uh, uh, to uh, transfer to, the, uh, to New Orleans. And uh, Deanna and I had talked about it, and she knew what my first choice was. So when I called her and asked if she'd like to live in the French Quarter, she screamed, yes. Thank God it's not Evanston, Wyoming. That was my first choice. <laughs> we moved into our new home in, in New Orleans. And Deanna loved that house. I, I don't know how many of you ever counted the windows in your house or thought about it, but that was a two-story house that had 54 windows. And it was full of sunshine from every direction always. And it was, it was just heartwarming for her. She, she was really restored by the sun shining in. Uh, and we had very friendly, supported neighbors in a church family that was just constantly reaching out. And there we found an eye specialist that fixed Deanna's vision so well that she could read again with both eyes. It was amazing. Throughout her life, she read the Bible, Shakespeare, and history extensively. She was a Jeopardy level expert at all three. Deanna loved New Orleans. We traveled around the city in Louisiana every Sunday and many full weekends. The history, the food, the architecture, the diverse culture and the people were fascinating. Truly living history. A couple of times, Deanna went into an insulin shock while at home alone. Each time, our neighbors noticed something wrong and intervened and called 911. The second time, one of the paramedics, after injecting her with a second dose of glucagon, and she's starting to come around, he asks, How are you feeling? Deanna replies, Sleepy, and I'm going to be with Jesus. His reply was, Not on my ship, you're not. <laughs> Her, her faith was that strong. It never, ever wavered. In 98, Chevron Information Technology announced another reorganization. Companies do that frequently. Lots of outsourcing, but everyone was guaranteed a job. No layoffs. I said, darn, but I want to retire. <laughs> you know? So... On faith, we put our house up for sale, and, and I've been working and continued to work one, one week a month back in San Ramon, and I had caretakers come in to, or caregivers, 
to take care of Deanna. So I start looking around for retirement locations and, and uh, Columbia and Sonora are favorites. We used to come up here on vacation a lot and our daughter had told us that she was finally going to have a baby and it was only 55 miles from here down to Modesto where she lived so we figured that was just about right to be close enough but not close enough to get in the air. And uh, so we chose Sonora because it had good medical, community, shopping, church, and good AA. I designed our house and had it built for Deanna to accommodate the wheelchair. We leave New Orleans on August 1st. We stay in Modesto at a hotel and I commute back to San Ramon finishing up the project. Finally, my boss tells me I have a choice. I can choose the retirement package or continue working. The next morning, I retired. We started and you know, we, we lived in the McClinton's bungalow for a long, until our house was done. We moved in February 19th of 99. Our first Sunday in Sonora, we went to the 49er church and we had a lot to be grateful for to thank God for our blessings. As we walked in, Veda Carpenter grabbed us in the entry and welcomed us to the church. Just inside the door, we got hugs and, from Ray and Helen Johnson. Others shook our hands and welcomed us. The praise music was super, and before the sermon was even spoken, I told Deanna, as far as I was concerned, our church search was over. Except for wishing to be closer to the grandchildren, she loved being in Sonora. The neighbors in the church family were just so good. Her medical escapades after we got here didn't stop. The, uh, in 99, she had an open heart bypass, and she discovered that she'd previously had a heart attack and a stroke. She had congestive heart failure a gastric ulcer, her second leg was amputated. Finally last May, her kidneys stopped and she had dialysis three times a week. We thought the end was here last summer. I stayed with her for two nights in the hospital. We said our goodbyes and held hands all night. The morning dawned and voila, she was much better. Felt good and was discharged the next day. It bounced like a rubber ball. 